I just did not like it. I did some research actually on handmade films last night. Uh, do you know that like the sort of bought, like it changed hands a lot, and then eventually handmade films went on to to, to produce uh, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. But yeah, their first so. Uh, George Harrison, his first production thing was, yeah, well, yeah, so it was, we took over Life of Brian when the financing fell, fell through, yeah. but Handmade Films still hadn't been created, really, he sort of made it with a financial partner, he came up with the name of the, of the company, but their first actual <coughs> from start production film was Time Bandits. Really? That's and it's great because uh, there's a George Harrison song in time, in the credits for Time Bandits. Yeah, I'm just looking at their thing, and you're right, they did Rock Stock. They did 50 Dead Men Walking. They also did 127 Hours. Oh, I didn't Wonder. know that. Yeah. I did not know that. Handmade films. George oh. Harrison. I didn't um, realize he started that company. He was one of the founders. Yeah, like, so, I mean, his, like, he is at the heart of why certain movies exist. Like, Life of Brian pff, would not have come <coughs> pass without George Harrison. Which is so cool. Because well, Life of Brian is so Like, cool. well, that's, I mean, that's the see like, well, hey, I'm a Beatle. What am I going to do with all this money? And free time now that we broke it up. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, to record every other day for the next year. And, I mean, Time Bandits, I mean, I love that movie. Yeah, I haven't watched that in, like, 20 years. And uh, it's just something comforting about when the credits come up at the end of Time Bandits, and it's a George Harrison song, and, uh, like, George Harrison's name is in the credits, and, like, because like, he's sort of the, like, he was the quiet, but... It always seemed like the nicest one of the bunch. Yeah. Because he was just like his his he sort of his habits post Beatles and all these he things. He knew the least about him too. You know, like jo John and George, not John, George, John and Paul were so much in the spotlight all the time that you kind of want to be alive during that time. There we go. Really into the Beatles. Yeah, but you know, I don't like, know why I just said that George Harrison was the nicest of them. Like, but he came across John, as the nicest. Yeah. Well, John was nice, but. Welcome back to the film settings on CFAX 1070. Stephen Bryan sitting in on a Sunday afternoon talking movies, TV, and pop culture. 